What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Let's Play The Sims 4 with Brian and Greg. I'm Greg. I'm Brian. And Brian. Man. I don't... I, I like to start us every time we do a new run. We're in our final five episodes here. Yep. Uh, and what's happened here is we don't have a house. We're in a bad place. We own this lot of land, but we don't own the house. So I just wanted to see what would happen to us if I if we dropped each other, if we just started here. Greg, I think about us kind of like... Um, you got to pee real bad? We're kind of like the Three Stooges or Ren and Stimpy, Barbara where every time you watch the show, they have different jobs. Sure. They're in a different apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no continuity. It's not like friends are married with children where they're like, oh, they're in the same place for nine years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, one day you tune in, you know, we're, uh, we got we got girlfriends and jobs and a nice house. Next day, we are just sleeping on park benches. I just peed myself. You peed the park. <laughs> Well, and myself was included. Oh, and you there. stink too. Well, yeah, we have no bathroom, we have no house, we have no nothing. You're just wandering around here. Look at you walk. You've got to pee too. Oh man, That's the I'm problem. probably looking for money. It's get, you're getting close to having to go to the bathroom and making a fool of yourself here. Wow, we we hit rock bottom. I got stinky feet. It's, well, it's just how they express stinkiness in general. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Brian and I are playing 20 Let's Plays of The Sims. This is episode 16. We're finishing strong for you. But right now, we're down on our luck. So I just want to see how long it'll take everybody to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> how, where do we... That's, the, that's today's episode. Do we pick things up from here, or do we just see how far into depravity... It keeps, it keeps kicking us out of cheetah mode, because it's like, hey, fix this. Everything's you... wrong. Oh, I peed, too. Damn right you did. But you went away You went away like a gentleman. You did, it, <laughs> did it away from yeah, the Yeah, don't pee in our bed. This yeah. is our whole... It's all we have. <laughs> this, is this is all we have. I, I gotta say, I do like that um, through all of this, our friendship oh, has prevailed. Of course. We will never go anywhere without each other in this. You peed a lot. Well, I've been drinking a lot of those Surge Colas they got back out on Amazon. Oh, man. Well, you have a job. You're an amateur entertainer. <laughs> so you got that going for you. Well, this is like... I feel like this is what it's like to be a real amateur entertainer. <laughs> it's leaving on a park bench waiting for the next gig waiting for the next gig you take what you can get and they're like hey yeah. you're uh, eating cat food on YouTube tomorrow for $4 you're like alright okay. I'll do it I'll take yeah. it I'll and then you call up your parents and you're like I'm in a new commercial <laughs> I play the cat they're from the small town in Tennessee they don't know the difference they're just like well our, our boys in Hollywood they don't get the commercial? No, okay. they don't. No, they don't understand YouTube. I don't know if your parents understand YouTube. Your mom, your mom's My smart. mom understands YouTube. Yeah, yeah. she gets it. Your Dad mom does. tweets it every me every every now and then. Yeah. Like every time I take care of your dog, I'll get a tweet from her that's kind of like, "You better take care of that dog." I'm like, All right, "Well, the pressure was already on." Take care of my grand puppy. With your son. Yeah. Being Greg Miller, but your grandmother, <laughs> your mother being Greg, the, your dog's grandmother. It just being keeps going. Greg Miller's mom. Yeah, it's just it's just a lot. <laughs> so Brian. Hey. How was Japan? I it was good. To you. you went to Japan for TGS. You're yeah, back was, now. You're I was, exhausted. I was there for 10 days. Uh, that's a very fun, fun, crazy show. You've been to Japan before, right? I have been. Uh, I did love you Japan. Go did you go for fun or did you go for TGS? I've done both. I You've went to TGS both. and then I, last November I went for a week just to hang out. So TGS is interesting because you don't speak Japanese. No. And you're taking demos in Japanese. Right. And the attendants who work there are Japanese. And they hand you pieces of paper that say how to play the game in Japanese. Yeah. And if you don't know how to figure out those things without learning any Japanese, uh, it's a very cumbersome, interesting experience. Yeah. J uh, TGS is a weird one. Of yeah. Trying to like piece it together. Your game, ha the game has to speak for itself. If yeah. it's anything complicated, good luck. It ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? So many times I, ha I took demos on PSP games. Where I'd sit there and there's an attendant next to me trying to gesture and explain and put. Yep, I, I yep. have no idea what you're saying or how to play this game. Because it's like I think like people, most people get. You know, our audience is smart. They love video games, and I'm sure uh, a great deal of our audience. What is that that you need Pepto Bismol? It looks like I need Pepto Bismol. Yeah. Um, a, great, a, a, a great deal of our audience actually uh, wants, probably pro has before or wants to import games. Right. And I think most games are pretty import friendly. Like if you imported, you know, Super Mario. Mario Brothers or Mega Man, it would make yeah. a lot of sense. But Final Fantasy, a lot, of let them, a lot of menus there. Yeah. And not all the menus have like a pictures next to them, so you know what's going on. So, and when you're playing a demo, you know uh, very well. A lot of demos are very just small, bite sized versions of games. And I think we should go fishing. And I was going to say, I, I was wondering fruit. if I can take a bath in the in the water. Do you want to go swimming in that in that pond and clean yourself up and then ruin the pond for yeah, the whole time? Exactly. Totally. Pollute with your, the water supply. With your poop pants. Hey, you're going to work, so that's good. That's fine. I'm glad one of us is <laughs> holding down. Oh, that's down. weird. I can't cut through the the, <laughs> the patch. I, have to, I stick to the sidewalks. Except for right there. Well, except for right there. Yeah, you follow the rules, except for when you pee on 
uh, public places. When you got to go, you got to go. Like everybody knows that there there are certain situations where yeah. the rules no longer apply. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people say Japan is weird and crazy, and that it is. But our American game conventions are just as bizarre as yeah. the Japanese ones. I mean, the food is just as gross. The attendees are wearing nothing. <laughs> There's booth babes. <laughs> There's weird, like, I mean, so uh, at TGS, there was a booth where women dressed as men will uh, lay in a bed next to you and take a picture with you. I heard about this. They were jumping on people. Is yeah. that right? Like they. And I'm like, that's odd. But PAX had in Seattle yeah. had a thing where, well, first of all, where did you, did, did you just steal some random burgers? It just said, yeah, you, you, you want to make some burgers? And I was like, sure, 40 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I'm hungry, obviously. Yeah. I'm living out here on the land. Like the, Wait, we have 16,000 SIM dollars and we're sleeping on a bench? Well, yeah, we wanted to see what it was going to be like. <laughs> How the other half lives. It's like in all, I'm sure you remember this. In Chicago, there was a newscaster named Walter Jacobson. Yeah. And every so often, he'd go out there and act like a homeless person for a week and then come back and report on it. Why every so often? Because, you know, see if it's changed, I guess. I don't know. It feels like uh, something you do once. Well, you know, you got to keep up to date if you're Walter Jacobson. <laughs> this if you're a true journalist. So, like, what? Like a week, a year? It wasn't. It was more like, I think, maybe every decade or something he would do it. Oh, okay. I he, he did it a lot. You know what I mean? I remember it was a big deal when he did it, when he moved to Fox 32, Fox Chicago. It was a big deal when he redid it. Where are you going, Greg? You got nowhere to go. I was going to say, that's oh, the, I least, went to work. the least realistic thing I've ever seen you do is walk, walk away. Walk away from, from a giant plate of burgers? Yeah. I love burgers. Just leave it there. Burgers are great. I go for a burger right now. That's burgers are weird in Japan. They put weird things on them. I like, saw that uh, video on IGN. Yep. How bad was that black burger? Uh, it was interesting. It's yeah. it's more like, as I mentioned in the video, uh, if you go to IGN.com, we ate a black cheeseburger in Japan from Burger King called the Kuro Diamond. Uh, it's got black buns, it's got black cheese, and it's got black sauce. Um, and if you're eating it, it's it's not the worst thing in the world, but when you look at it, that's when it throws you off. Gotcha. I, I think that like... Um, the presentation of food is very important. Like, you could have a disgusting meal that tastes amazing, but if every time you look at it, it makes you want to puke. Then sure. It's not that great. Um, but they put spaghetti on their burgers there, which is... I've seen that before. That's gross. It's like, that's it's, a, I mean, to me, it's gross. Obviously, it's fine for... They like it a lot. Again, it's like, it's... I love spaghetti, and I love burgers. I just don't need those things together. Like, if you took a piece of a pizza and you put it on a burger, I'd be like, you didn't need to do that. Yeah, but it does sound kind of good. It does sound really good. A piece good. of pizza burger? Yeah. A burger in the center of the pizza and you wrap it around, slice around it? Oh, that's a great idea. Like if you take if you take a pizza slice and you cut it into circles and you use that as the bun. Wow. And you make a cheeseburger you just blew in between. my mind. You'd have to use the right cheese though. Or not at you that point the really. Yeah, I guess at that point it doesn't matter. I mean, I've put I've put burger on my pizza before, so it's kind of, we're you're kind of there. Like a cheeseburger? No, I put, yeah, like, you know, hamburger meat on a mm -hmm. pizza. They do that at, at the pot cheese. I would eat it there. I'm going to Chicago tonight, Brian. I'm going to get a, an Italian beef pizza. I'll tell you what. What are you going there for? Just for fun? See family. I haven't seen. I haven't been home in a while. Because uh, when you go home, you go to all these weddings and stuff, right? Exactly, yeah. That's right. So what are you going to eat in Chicago? Uh, a lot of portillos. Yeah. And then pizza. So that's the ritual. You get there, you eat hot dogs, and you eat pizza. Yeah, I got... Um, coming home, my mom's already going to have <laughs> hot dogs waiting for me because they'll be closed by the time I get there. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I'm going to. I'm doing a meet and greet at Portillo's on Saturday for everybody to come hang out with me. Oh, cool! I don't know when this goes up, so I don't know if that'll be too late for you to come if you yeah. do this. But you should have been following me on Twitter if that's the case. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm building our. I'm building a house finally for us, Brian. Are you happy, Brian? We're gonna have a house, Brian. I think it's, it's a good start. All right. Is, um, our, is this our house? Yeah, we're going. Right now, it's a kitchen and a bathroom. So you're not really building a house. You're just putting a bunch of rooms together. Well, yeah, but there's walls connected to them. So okay. So. Is it going to have a roof? I don't know. We're going to see. We're just going to put stuff down and see what how it all goes. How about that? Okay. I like the idea of that. It's, it, we, we've played by The Sims 4 rules for too long, I say. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for us to get crazy up here. Wild out with Nick Cannon, as some would say. Some, some have wild out with Nick Cannon before. Yeah, I think some have, but not enough for sure. <laughs> Do you think he has a list of people he's wild people out with? People he has wild out with? I hope Actually, so. Actually, I don't think he has that list. I think he has a list of people he wants to wild out with. That's even better. That's I, an easy list. I respect list. that. So you eat hot dogs, you eat pizza. What's the big breakfast thing in Chicago? Oh, there is no breakfast thing. Really? I mean, what? It's like anywhere else. I don't know. Bagels. I don't care. I don't care. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel? Yeah, yeah. That's, people do that. I mean, no, I pro no probably, I'll, I'll, have a, I'll have some coffee when I wake up. No, I'm not going to do no kabasa. If I was tailgating, it's a brat. I'm eating a brat for 
There it is. Are you going to a game? No. No? Uh, if they're playing the Packers, that ticket would be too expensive and crazy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna you have money. Pull it off. I know, but I don't... Not for that. I wasn't sure if I'd be coming back Sunday night or Monday night, too, when I started. So, like, eh. I like our house so far. It's it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare house. We've we screwed it up pretty good. Is that the kitchen behind the bedroom? Yeah. I it's feel a, like that bed's going to get really hot against that stove. If you notice, the only way to get into the kitchen is to go around the side of the house. So, we've made some things here. We should see our Sims react to it. Wait a minute. Hold on. To get to the kitchen, you have to go through the bathroom. Right. And... To get to the bedroom, you have to go through the kitchen to go through the bathroom. And there's no door into our living room. Our living room is a standalone structure. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see how the boys enjoy their new house in the next Let's Play. Remember, we put up all these every day. There's 20 of them. This is episode 16. More for you to catch up on in one second. Until next time, keep it here on IGN. Homeless.